This video have been on the to-do list for way, way too long. Let's get into the project tools within Fusion 360. Let's go. Hi everybody and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Today's video we're going to talk about the project, the include, the intersect, the tools that when you hit the Fusion Sketch drop down you might have found and you wonder what they do. This is thanks to Jack Martin who sent me an email, my email address is down in the description area of this video, so if any future topics you would like to see send me that. So thanks Jack for sending me the request to do this, I should have done this, this a long time ago. So. Let's jump into Fusion 360. So this is where you find them. Sketch. Go down to the project include and you find that there's these five different items sitting right down here and uh, you hopefully are somewhat familiar with uh, with at least a couple of them. But let's 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 go through it quick. Project. Also there's a shortcut called P. Um the best way, the best way to probably describe project is that if we start a new sketch on a top face here and uh, let's just draw a two-point rectangle something like that the for dimension we should probably always fully define these dimensions right or these parts we have this sketch sitting on this plane here now if we create an offset plane from this bring this up 75 millimeters, we open a new sketch on that face there. Now it goes normal too, but I'm just gonna move it over. What we can do with this project tool right here is we can borrow or steal the edges from our first, uh, or from our rectangle to that second plane. So if we hit project and you see that when I click here, you will see that the lines are appearing up on top. So now suddenly we have projected those sketch entities down there up to there. That can be super handy if you're trying to use something like a loft function or, or things like that. Another example is look at this part here. So we have a round cylinder and we have kind of like a slot through it. Now there's different ways we, we could do that. But in this part here, what I have is I have a sketch, a sketch rectangle sitting right here that I'm, I'm cutting right through there. But see, what happens is that if I just delete these two, back to, to square one, just an extruded boss here, if I go ahead and say, I want to sketch on this plane here, um, and I want to create a two-point rectangle, now I can I can select this, this edge, it will let me select that, but you can see that I can't select an endpoint. And that's because, well, there is no endpoint because it, it, it's a circle. Well, here is where we can use this project command. If we go down to the project and I select that edge and hit OK, now I have projected that circular edge as a flat on there. And now I can go ahead and sketch my, uh, my two-point rectangle here. So let's make this 15 by 10. And if I hit Q for press pull, I'm just select if you can't select the profile in here just hold down the left mouse button and you can uh, select the profile right there let's do a symmetrical cut and do a cut like that so that is uh, is that project um that you you saw uh, happening in here now another function within this one i got to show you about if i click on it and we select that same plane um you just saw me take this edge and the selection filter, I had it over here on a specific entity. That means that if I select here, it will take that edge. But if you switch that over to body and you just select the whole body, then you actually get the whole outside uh, of that. Um, that could actually in somewhat be handy. If we hit Q and again, hold down left mouse button, select that profile, extrude that out and let's do it as a join. Huh. Now I just created an interesting shape right there. Another way to uh, to do that. That, my friend, is uh, the project. But now where are we at it? Why don't we look at what uh, what does intersect do? 
Now the intersect command will actually, we can create like a, a face or we can create a, a plane and wherever that plane is cutting through our part, that's where we will get that intersection sketch geometry. Let me show you. So if I, for example, we have, the, if we go up and we turn the origin on here, we will see that we have the origin in the center. So if I go over here and say that we want to intersect and we're just selecting this plane right here, and then we can select the whole body, hit OK. Now it's literally like if I turn the bodies off, we have cut with this plane through this body and we now have these, uh, these intersections here. So if we just take it one step further, let's do, let's do this one more time. Let's do an offset plane, drag this out something like this and let's do it again. Go in, do an intersect, select this plane, select again the body, hit OK. Now you will see that the other geometry is where that plane is. Let me turn the plane back on so you can see it. So I hope that you can see that now we have different sketch geometry wherever we decide to use that, that plane. Now the next one, include 3D geometry. Let's go and find an old uh, live stream part. This one here, can't remember what live stream it was, but we did this one in the sculpt environment. So completely free form. Let me just go over to the model environment here. Let's turn the capture design history on so we get that down at the bottom. So this is what <laughs> I like to call swoopy surfaces kind of thing. But check this out. If we go to sketch, project, include 3D geometry, it's going to open up another, um, another uh, a new sketch plane. So it's like opening a new sketch. I'm going to say like this edge here. And now I can actually select edges of um, the 3D, uh, this curved body that we have right here. So I can select these edges. If I hit OK, and let me just hide the bodies, you will see that it projected those edges off um, of that, that curved body. So some of you guys would like to work with the Sculpt workspace and then go into the to the normal modeling workspace might like this. What we could do from here could, for example, go to patch. We could say extrude. Let's extrude this one symmetrical. Oh, we got the bodies turned off, that's why. Uh, symmetrical here, so we can put a surface on here. Let's go in here and turn off the solid body. Um, so we have, this is now coming from that sketch geometry that we just created. Now what you could do from here, um, if you are not familiar with the patch workspace, is we could actually thicken this. Uh, so you could select this and give it some kind of a, a thickness, I don't know, 50 millimeters. And now that is actually um, a solid body in itself. Uh, so just pretty interesting that it will let you take an existing 3D geometry and take those edges and curves and turn them into usable sketch geometry. The next one here, project to a surface. You might have seen me use it uh, in the past, but pretty much what it will let you do is that let's create a construction offset plane here, up here. Let's draw a sketch on that. And uh, let's just take a spline. I like our new control point spline and uh, draw that up there. So now we kind of have this spline here. So let's open a new sketch here and uh, let's go up and do a project the surface, select the face we want, that's on that curve and select that curve right there. And that is now being projected down on that face. So that is actually what we will call like a 3D sketch uh, geometry that we actually kind of like get out of this. This is great for uh, if you're doing certain types of, of development. Now talking about like 3D sketches and curves, the last function you will find in here is a intersection curve, intersection curve. Uh, what you can read the description next to it, but it will let you select the sketch curve and then create a 3D sketch from that. Let me show you an example of that. If we go ahead here, open a, a new sketch, and uh, I'm just going to sketch on this this plane right here. 
Let's go back in and do one of these control splines. Like that, for example. Stop the sketch. So now we have that sitting on one plane. If we create one on the other, so we just get here. Let's do it here. Let's do another control point spline. Let's add a couple of more sections to that. Okay. So now we have, if I turn the origin back on, you can kind of see we have one that is sitting on this face. We have one that is sitting on this face. Well, if I go in and say that I want to create a, a intersection curve, and I now select that last plane right there, and then I select this curve, and this could be I or curves all faces, and this curve, then you will see that it creates a com combine from these two, uh, an intersecting curve that will be a, a 3D sketch uh, curve like that. For any of you guys who want to get into to the 3D uh, sketch uh, curves, this would definitely be, be a good tool for you. So project is the one we're using the most, just projecting items. I like to call stealing edges from one part of a body to a new sketch plane. You have the intersection one where you literally have a plane that cuts right through it. That one include 3D geometry. If that went a little fast, don't worry. Screw, you know, rewind back in the video and check that out. Projecting uh, to a surface can be super good. This is also good if you have lettering. And then the last one here, creating these um, these 3D sketch curves. That's pretty uh, pretty neat. I hope you found this uh, useful. Thank you so much, Jack Martin, for uh, for suggesting that. Again, my email address is down in the description area. You're more than welcome to send me an email with any future topics you would like to see. If you like this, thumbs up. If you don't, hey, be honest, thumbs down. I really appreciate you taking the time. And until the next time, have an awesome, awesome day. Take care, folks.